I'm Tony DeCopel here at the fourth annual Women in the World Summit in the Toyota Solution Studio with Sarah Blakely, Hello. the founder <laughs> and inventor of Spanx. F for the for the two people in the universe who don't know what Spanx are, what is the <laughs> what is your quick description of Spanx? Well, Spanx started as a shapewear. This that is not the quick. This is not what is like the the newspaper clause like Spanx. Spanx comma, make your butt look better. Spanx, comma thing that makes your butt look better. Closed. There uh, you okay. go. That's uh, good. Sarah Blakely, uh, in addition <laughs> to being the founder and inventor, I have got a whole spiel here. You gotta uh, in, in addition to being the founder and inventor of Spanx, is also, and I love this, the first self made female billionaire. That's incredible. Thank That's you. Incredible. Thank you. Uh, and, and the story of Spanx. <laughs> You, don't worry, you're going to have a lot you're of You're making time. me I'm laugh. Do you like know totally what you're blue. reminding me of? I just got interviewed by Coach K, the coach from Duke Basketball. I'm reminding you of Coach K? Well, <laughs> well, I don't get interviewed by men that often, but when I do, it's very fun to watch uh -huh. you guys squirm. And Coach K spent one hour trying not to say the word panty. And finally, I just looked at him and I said, panty. It's okay. You can say it. I have it. a whole list of but words. I, I all right, all say. right. Uh, but you look like someone who won't worry about that. Okay. Uh, now I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Panty just is like <laughs> nothing now. Um, no, uh, here's my question. Okay, so this, this Spanx is is a company that grew out of one person with a problem who had an ideal idea for solving it and then went forward. But lots of people are confronted with that. What gave you the courage to pursue this answer you had? Well, I you know. Throughout my life, my dad encouraged me to fail as a child, which was really powerful because my fear of failure did not hold me back. A lot of people are, are afraid to fail, and so they'll have great ideas but not pursue them. And I also I went through some tragedies younger in life that led me to Wayne Dyer, who's a motivational and inspirational speaker. Wow. And I've been listening to his tapes since I'm 16 years old. So I would say there's a lot of the messaging that he, you know, that I learned early on about confidence and believing in yourself, visualization. Long before the secret came out, I knew the secret. Uh -huh. So. That that was a big part of the success of Spanx. Wayne Dwyer. Wayne Dyer. Wayne Dyer. Uh, and then th the thing that I would have been afraid of if I were you is that my idea would be taken. That you would go around to these companies looking for a partner to produce the the original Spanx, and that someone would be like, "No, nah, we don't want it." And then uh, you know, two months later, you see it in stores. How, I mean, what gave you the confidence that that wasn't going to be the case? Well, I didn't have the confidence. That's such a good question. I spent like most entrepreneurs and inventors so much time paranoid about someone taking my idea. But what I can tell you is that ideas are very rarely taken in the development stage. They're only taken when they're out in the marketplace doing well. That's when the knockoffs happen. And uh, you got to tell the people that can help move it forward. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, I kept my idea a total secret for a year from all my friends and family. And <laughs> I have really supportive friends and family, but the reason that I did that is because intuitively, I just felt that if, if I told people just for validation, just to check in with them, that ego would have to get involved yeah, early on, yeah. and I'd spend more time defending it and explaining it than pursuing it. Well, this means there's a whole population of people in Florida where you're from who had weddings and birthday parties and major events and Spanx didn't exist, yet the idea was out there. You could have helped these people. Be you mean before? Yeah, before. You <laughs> no, I, I was pursuing it. I was pursuing it. I, I, I only didn't tell people that would have so said it's a good or a bad idea. But I told the lawyers that needed to help me move it forward. I told the manufacturers, you've got to pick up the phone and take that risk and say, mm -hmm. I have an invention, help me mm -hmm. make it. So after the original Spanx, uh, I understand that I developing- You know um, we make Spanx for men. I know this, I know this. I'm <laughs> not wearing them now. What? Uh, okay, I forgive is you. Is the answer. Well, we, uh, made, we reinvented the undershirt. <laughs> uh, when you were looking for additional product lines like Spanx for, for men, um, you were in a department store with your picture of you. Yes. Could you say more about this I mean, that's idea, this Wayne's doing? <laughs> no, but that's truly putting <laughs> your own butt on the line for a job. I mean, literally. I took, I, I was explaining what my invention was, and I kept saying it's footless pantyhose, and women were starting to focus on the foot. And I realized, wait, they're not getting that the benefit is the butt. Mm -hmm. So I've got to take their attention away from this whole footless part because 
that allowed you to wear any style shoe and get them back to where the real magic of this product is. So I had my friend take a picture of my butt before and after in the same cream pants and went to Kinko's and laminated it. And every woman that walked in, I explained Spanx, and they'd kind of get a glazed look, and then I'd hold up my laminated picture and say, and this is me, in and out of the product, and they go, oh, I'll take three. <laughs> How many times did you have to explain it to the guy at Kinko's? No, no, I want copies of this picture before and after <laughs> of my butt. <laughs> Several. He got it. He got it. He got it. Um, wonderful. So you also do charitable work now. I mean, huge success with the company. What are you doing outside of it? Well, we started a foundation at Spanx, and we give a portion of all of our profits to help women, and we focus on education and entrepreneurship. We have programs internally at Spanx called the Leg Up Program, where we feature female entrepreneurs in our catalog that goes out to millions of women for free, mm -hmm. just to pay my Oprah moment forward. And exposure is so important, and when you don't have any money to advertise, it's it can be the make or break of a person starting their product and their um, company. That's wonderful, wonderful. So I have one final question. It's a little bit of an uncomfortable question. Spanx is a huge success. It solves a problem for many women. There's there, some people out there might say, well, you know, I wasn't born with compression shorts. Why do we need these? Shouldn't we all just be comfortable with who we are rather than try to address it? Do you have any? I mean, do you ever give are any you suggesting to that? we all let it all hang out? I think we should just. I think <laughs> just like I want to. Is that where you're going with this? Um, actually, I just. I've, I was focused on a more comfortable option. Women wanted a shapewear. They wanted an undergarment option that didn't leave lines. And what was out there was very dreadfully uncomfortable. So my focus was how to make it more comfortable. I don't see it as anything other than that as a more comfortable option. I think of shapewear and foundation sort of like the canvas of a painting, mm -hmm. you know, and then your clothes are the paints. And if you don't have the right canvas or the right foundation, it can affect the whole result of the painting and so um, that's what Spanx addresses and makes women that's why women have shared this secret with so many other women and still to this day we have not advertised so it's a word of mouth Is brand that possibly true wow you're right uh, well it's a wonderful story and Thank I really you. appreciate you uh, sharing it with us uh, Sarah Blakely founder of Spanx